and we are back hello everyone welcome back to five minutes code channel where i will be giving you the tutorial of every problem of lead code and geeks for geeks so without wasting any time let's get started uh, but before that i just want to apologize for not uploading videos from i think last two three days because i was having a high fever and now i think i'm feeling better so let's go so today's problem is get min from a stack which is marked as a medium level problem let's find out what we will be given into this problem and what we have to do so we will be given four functions first one is this push function which is basically having one parameter as well which is int x x of integer type which basically means i have to push i have to push x into the stack okay all right then pop basically means ki yaar, uh, pop one element remove one element remove the top element from the stack okay after that there is peak which basically means return the top current top element of the stack okay all right and after that this is get min what is get min do uh, get get min will basically finds the minimum element like uh, whatever elements are currently present in the stack it will get the minimum element out of that and return it okay so there are four functions which i have to implement and uh, uh, what we will be given so basically there will be few queries uh, suppose first query is this one comma two so what does i have to do uh, here we can see this is the code one comma two basically means first query first query is push x into the stack so basically means 2 will be pushed into the stack then 1 comma 3 basically means 3 will be pushed into the stack then there is 3 3 basically means return the top element from the stack if the stack is empty return minus 1 okay after that 2 2 basically means pop the top element from the stack like to remove the top element from the stack and after that 4 4 means return the minimum element from the stack okay and after that again 1 comma 1 which basically means ki are push 1 into the stack and after that again 4 uh, 4 command 4 basically means return the minimum element from the stack okay all right let's quickly make one stack and uh, try to understand what this is about what we will be have to operate okay so first of all i have query 1 comma 2 which means 2 will be pushed to the stack after that 1 comma 3 which means 3 will be pushed to the stack after that 3 which means i have to return stack dot peak so i will simply return stack dot peak which is 3 so output is 3 for now after that the next command is two which basically means pop the top element from the stack okay so i will remove three from the stack it will i've not return anything you can see pop is void i just have to remove top element from the stack okay all right so three is now popped out after that again command is four which means return the minimum element from the stack so what is the minimum element like there is only single element in the stack which is two so uh minimum element is also two so two is that second answer after that one comma one which means insert one into the stack okay again 4 4 basically means remove return the minimum element from the stack and minimum element now is 1 so 1 will be returned in this way we will get the output so these queries and all this will be return uh, running in the back end and i will be have to we have to just implement these functions and in the driver code which is written uh, these functions will be automatically called here you can see if command is 1 if qt is 2 if qt is 3 so in this way uh, it will be implemented it is already implemented we just have to implement these functions i think the problem statement now will be very very clear and uh, coming on to the approaches look this push pop and peak these are already these are the methods which are already implemented by stack both in java in c plus plus python everywhere okay but this get min element get min function of stack is not implemented we have to implement it okay first way first method is very very simple whenever i will have to i get this four command which basically means whenever this get min function is called what i will do i will traverse over the whole stack i will iterate over the whole stack and i will check here what is the minimum element in this and i will simply return them okay all right uh, first way is this but you see for every command for every time this get min is called i have to traverse the whole stack and when we see the um q here which is 10 raised to the power 5 and values on the stack is 10 raised to the power 9 
So there can be 10 raised to the power 9 and every time I am traversing like for each query I am traversing the whole stack. So time complexity will be very high. It will be very costly operation and I will get time limit exit. So I have to optimize our approach. How I am going to optimize our approach? Let's quickly move on to one node section where I am going to explain it. Okay. All right. So look, uh, what I am going to do here, I have one variable, let's say minimum which is currently nothing because nothing is in the stack okay nothing is there so first query is 1 comma 4 which means push 4 into the stack so currently there is nothing in the stack so when 4 is pushed 4 will be my minimum element okay after that 2 i have to push so when pushing 2 look 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 when pushing 2 now my minimum this 2 is mean less this 2 is less than our current minimum so our minimum will have to be updated okay so 2 is pushed and now minimum is 2 so you see one thing here one issue here is ki yaar now after 2 is pushed like 2 is pushed minimum is 2 now when 2 will be popped out i don't know what will be my minimum i don't know what will be my minimum and i have to again traverse this whole stack because let's suppose 4 is there and then uh, again 4 is there 6 is there and then uh, 1 was there so till this point what will be the minimum uh, so no sorry let's suppose 3 is there so at this point what will be the minimum minimum will be 3 now after 3 again I got 2 so 2 will be pushed now when 2 will be pushed minimum will be 2 and now when 2 will be popped out I again have to traverse this whole stack and to get what is the minimum and minimum is 3 now so I have to optimize this thing I think you guys are getting the problem so what I am going to do at any point at any point uh, guys hear me very uh, concentration with full concentration at any point when the new element which is to be inserted is less than the is less than current minimum what i am going to do i am going to first of all push the current minimum like current minimum is at this point is four okay so four will be pushed again and after that the new element two will be pushed and uh, my minimum will be updated to two so why i have pushed this minimum uh, again i will i will come to that so now first of all four four basically means return the minimum minimum will be returned which is two okay after that three three means the peak so what is the peak peak is also two so two comma two this is my output but let's suppose let's suppose uh, moving on to the next test case i will explain it here uh, again uh, minimum is nothing now okay minimum is null or you can do anything and stack is currently empty first of all i got four four will be pushed okay and uh, uh, let's add few more operations here mm, let's suppose one comma three is pushed okay and uh, yeah correct so um, let's quickly delete this as well nothing i don't need to delete anything let's delete this okay so uh, let's go first of all three will be pushed into the stack so three is pushed and my minimum which is null here currently will be also three okay all right after that i have to push four look four is not minimum now four is not minimum because four is greater than current minimum so no need to do anything just push four into the stack okay after that i get look till now current minimum is 3 and now i get 2 so 2 is less than 2 is less than my minimum so i have to update this minimum what i told if i have to update this minimum first of all push this minimum 3 will be pushed again and after that the current element which is 2 will be pushed and now minimum is updated to 2 okay all right why i did this uh, i will come to that point so again 4 4 basically means what return the current minimum current minimum is this minimum so which is in big o of one time complexity okay after that i get three three is what uh peak peak is also two okay so two is again returned after that two two second operation second operation is pop so two will be popped out two will be popped out so yeah look two is popped out now i am going to again check in pop operation if my pop this pop which is two is equal to current minimum is equal to current minimum what i am going to do i am going to pop this two is popped out now again three will be popped out and three will be now the new minimum so you see why i uh, why i inserted this three and how i am going to utilize it otherwise otherwise what i do if i if three was not there 
3 i not inserted extra 3 so i have to again iterate over this whole stack to get the new minimum because 2 is now popped out 2 is now popped out so to overcome this what i am going uh, what i am doing i am inserting the minimum like i think you guys are getting i think you guys are getting so when 2 is popped out i will check here is current element is the 2 which is popped out is equal to minimum again pop once more pop once more and now the new element which is popped will be my minimum 3 so 4 will be now returning 3 which is the minimum element i think you guys are have got this you guys have got the intuition you guys have got the approach so now let's move on to the code section but before that if you have loved my explanation if you have loved my way of teaching make sure to subscribe the channel and like the video because it will really really motivate me and uh, yeah subscription matters like subscribe guys please and comment down as well how i explained and i think the intuition should be clear uh, let's uh, initialize few things first one is minimum and second one is stack of integer type which i will have to use globally so that's why i'm uh, initializing i'm declaring it here so that i can use across uh, use across all functions here okay all right so let's first of all push let's do push function okay so first thing is yeah if my stack is empty if my stack is empty what i am going to do i am going to like minimum will be initialized to x which is my current and i am going to push so st dot push x i think this point is clear but if a stack is not empty and else if uh, what i told current element which is x is less than minimum is less than minimum so i have to update the minimum like i have to update the minimum so what i told if you remember i will push one x one time current minimum okay so what i'm going to do is stack dot push what uh, minimum again so that uh, i can get it without iterating over over and over again and after that i'm going to update my minimum to x so this is what i'm going to do and our push function is completed guys if you have any issue make sure to use pen and paper and try to understand this okay i have already explained this once and now pop operation again so if stack is empty i can't do anything i'm not used to this laptop actually i mostly use my uh, company laptop so here is stack it should be st and here it is so if a stack is empty i cannot do anything i will simply return okay all right otherwise i will simply pop out so let's store this int tmp is equal to st dot pop okay so if you remember what i told if the element which is popped out which is tmp is equal to minimum i have to update my minimum i have to update my minimum so how can i update the minimum yeah look if not st dot is empty means st is not empty in that case my new minimum will be what again pop out again pop from stack i think you guys are getting this and uh, that's it that is for the pop function and now peak is very very easy again if stack is not empty i will copy this so if stack is empty return minus one because here it is written return the top element if the stack is empty return minus one otherwise very very simple return st dot peak okay and get minimum what is get minimum again copy this if um, stack is empty return minus one uh, i will return minus one otherwise what i'm going to return guys i'm going to return the minimum so you see these things i am just doing so that i can minimum i can return the minimum is big o of one operation okay big o of one constant time i'm not doing any iteration here okay and these push and pop functions are also like constant time only because they are not iterating as well so all the operations are being done in big o of one time complexity and i think it will be very very clear too as well let's try to compile this to check if i have not done any silly mistake and i have not done yeah so let's submit it now and meanwhile if you have loved the explanation please subscribe the channel like the video comment down how was the explanation and uh, uh, if you have any confusion please ask in comments and also dry run it once with uh, pen and paper it will be crystal clear to you okay all right so that was it for today i have also uploaded the job openings so make sure to access that as well link you will get in the pinned comment this code you will get on my github that was it for today i'm going to see you again tomorrow till then keep on coding subscribe the channel like the video and bye